Hey, we're on our way up to uh, our destination here, and I just wanted to show you that there's Mount Washington up in the clouds. This here is the Mount Washington Resort, that huge white building over there. It's beautiful. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but yeah, Mount Washington's up there. The summit's in the clouds, like I just said. And there's some more mountains in the presidential range. We're going to be heading up that way. I just wanted to show you that. All right. See you later. <laughs> All right. Here we are. We're on the trailhead. And uh, this old depot, it's a trailhead. We're heading up that way. Crawford Depot. We're at the Crawford Depot. There's Crawford Notch down that way. Uh, we're needing to wear blaze orange because it's black powder season up here in New Hampshire and uh, we don't want to take any chances that hunting is allowed up in the White Mountain National Forest so I'm gonna be uh, I don't know if you can see my hat on the back I'm gonna be putting on in a minute once we get up in here but all right we'll see you on up the trail Well, we're trying to get up, uh, up over the saddle before the sun gets too low. Whew. Making pretty good headway. Just beautiful out here. See ya. <clears throat> hey folks. Jetliner going over. Making headway. We're also losing daylight. We gotta get up over this ridge and I have another two or three miles to go before we're gonna find a self site where we think there's one. Main dwell is making a gear adjustment. Oh yeah. Temperature's 30, 34 degrees? Yeah, it's 34 degrees. The snow's uh, compactable, kind of, kind of wet. Traction isn't bad at all. We both bought a set of uh, yak tracks, but we've yet to put them on. There's no real need for them yet. Um, but yeah, we're trying to beat the daylight here. If we have to, we'll finish up today with our headlamps. But we're trying to avoid that, so we're gonna keep going. I'll talk to you when we when we get to camp. All right, take care. Trying to make that stealth sight we found last time. We came in a different direction, but we're making our way down the saddle, the other side of the saddle, between Mount Tom and Mount Wiley. Ooh, bear with me here. And we're gonna try to get to that site we went to last time, mainly because we know it's there, and it was nice, and it gives us options for tomorrow, either coming back the same way here or uh, going somewhere else depending on the weather we're supposed to get five to six inches tomorrow afternoon tomorrow evening so we'll see what goes on this doesn't get any better than this for early winter hiking late fall how you doing main dweller Fantastic. all right Pardon the jumps and jolts, folks. It's just kind of slick. No one's been on this trail yet today, as far as I can tell. <clears throat> if 
This trail we're on is called the A to Z Trail. Well, here we are, back at Zeewin Pond. Intense angler, if you're listening, once again, Main Dweller and I did not bring fishing gear. It's killing me. But it's getting late in the day, a little after five, sun's going down over there, and we gotta set up camp, so we're not gonna spend much time here right now. Beautiful though, later. Well, this section of the trail is part of the AT. There's a typical white blaze right there that indicates you're on the Appalachian Trail. Uh, we'll be going up here for probably half a mile and we found a stealth site last time we were up in this area and we're gonna try to find it again. So I'll show you that when we get there. It's going good now, folks. Main Dwell did a great job scrounging up some nice dry wood. He actually walked way over to there about six feet away. <laughs> no, just kidding. But there was a downed pine tree there, so a lot of dry stuff. Um, nice job, main dweller. <laughs> I uh, had the misfortune of falling in a brook. Yeah, that's right. I, um, I stepped on a rock. I was cross we were doing a cream, one of many stream crossings. And I stepped on a rock with my left foot and it turned and I fell, my hip hit a rock. I'm okay, but my right, from my right knee down is soaked. My foot's dry because I got good boots, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to dry my pants off or at least my, actually they're fairly dry now. It, um, it's still snowy and wet, but you can see. But anyway, this fire feels good on that. I'll tell you that right now. It's 29 degrees and, uh, I don't know if you can see our tents are set up over there. Probably not. You probably can't see. We stayed at this site um, the last time we were up here. We found it kind of by accident. We were looking to, for a tree to hang our bear bag and stumbled across this. There was already this fire ring here. Um, yeah, so we knew this was here. We didn't know if we'd make it before sundown, but we did, barely. And we got a nice fire going. We got our, sense, our tent set up. Gonna kick back and relax now. Try to dry off a little bit, eat some dinner and call it a day. Um, not really sure what tomorrow's going to bring. We're supposed to get some snow in the afternoon. Um, five to six inches, I guess. So we're going to take it, take it as it comes. Um, hopefully get a day of hiking and spending the night out here somewhere. All right. This time, folks, I did a uh, cotton ball without Vaseline. And I picked up some birch bark. On the, on the way down here, I noticed some, some birch. So I stuffed it in my coat or my inside my fleece and had it from when we got here. All right, I won't bore you anymore. We'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Gotta love it. Hey, 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 hey. What do you say, wanna go eat in a little while? Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Woo! What a fire. My pants are almost dry. A little bit of ice on the bottom still. <laughs> hey, could have been worse, could have broke something. You know? Yeah. Alright, we'll see you later. Good morning. James just informed me it's 28 degrees. 
7.30, we're going to get up. I had a good night. My back's a little sore. And we'll uh, catch up with you later. Um, last time we were out here, I took a tip from Intense Angler and poured the boiling water right in these packets. It worked out awesome. Thank you again, Intense Angler. Main Dweller, who's filming this now, had a great idea last night. I was cooking a meal in these quart-sized freezer bags in our GSI Minimalist Cups. What happens is, he had the great I was trying to eat out of the bag, and it's kind of a pain in the neck, to be honest with you, um, flopping all over like this. So the idea was, he said, why don't you slip this inside there and use this as a cozy. So I did it, and it worked out great, and I'll do it again with this oatmeal. It fits right in there. And then you can bend the bag over the top like, like this. And there you go. You're not dirtying your pot. It acts as a cozy, keeps it warm. You can still put the lid on if you wanted to, to keep it warm. Err. And now you can eat out of here. It's just easier to eat out of than the bag. Yum, yum. Good morning. Great idea, Jim. All right. See you later. See ya. Good morning again. We're heading out. You can see Main Dweller over there. He's raring to go. Yay. Um, this is our site, the way we left it. So my tent was. Main Dweller's tent. And we're heading out of here. Grab my gloves. Trekking poles. Beautiful spot. Today's agenda is, well, first of all, here's where we had that fire last night, existing fire pit. Very nice. We're heading back on a, a, the A to Z trail, and we're going to summit um, Mount Tom, they call it. It's a, one of the 4,000 footers up here in New Hampshire. And um, it's a beautiful day to do that there should be some good views up there and um, like I said last night later today we're supposed to get some snow so we're gonna play it by ear we'll either south camp somewhere or if it's really bad we'll just head out all right thanks for coming along we'll see you yep there we go Day two, Zealand Hut's up there. Heading out on the trail. Had a good night. Got down, I'm supposed to be in the teens. I only got down to like 26, which was cool. Uh, we're on the AT here, just for about a half a mile. Right past Zealand Pond, which is up here. And then we'll get on A to Z trail. Back to, we're gonna try to summit Mount Tom, like I said. It's one of the 4,000 footers. Beautiful day, it's gonna rain snow later, so we'll see how that goes. Just a beautiful day so far though. Oh look, there's a little coating of ice on the Zealand Pond during the night. Came by yesterday about five o'clock, it was no ice on it. And this morning there's a little coating. Same spot. Yeah. A little skim of ice. All right, we're out of here. Got some miles to cover. Beautiful morning, eh, James? Yes, sir. All right. Oh, I don't know if you can see, but it's about 11.30, I think, 11, 12 o'clock. It's getting considerably, considerably cloudier. Blue skies are gone for today, anyway. We'll keep you posted. Sure is beautiful out here.
On our way down, folks, we just passed a couple uh, day hikers on the way up here, and uh, they left this morning and they found out, or they informed us that instead of the three to four or five inches we're supposed to get this afternoon and tonight up here, now they're calling for a winter storm warning of seven to eight inches, so we're toying with the idea of just aborting, getting down off this mountain and calling it a, a trip. You know, since being up in here with eight inches of snow at this juncture, we both have, James and I both have three season tents, so I don't want to push their limits. Um, so we'll see. We got a ways to go to get to the bottom, but that's what we're doing. And uh, I'll give you an update. Chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> Muddy buildup on the bottom of the trekking pole. Is it good? Yeah, it's been. <laughs> Very earthy. All right, so we got like another mile to go and we'll be at the trailhead, making good headway. Um, if I don't see you again, uh, thanks for coming along. Oh, you're gonna turn out again, you know you are. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> well, we're back, folks. We're on the side of Route 302, the Crawford Depot. There's an old railroad depot across the street. We actually hiked over across the street. This is just the parking area here, trailhead. We hiked up that gully there to Mount Tom and did, a, as you know, did a quick overnight. We're heading out of here though, just because there's a winter storm warning in effect, we found out from a day hiker going up. So we were gonna stay another night, but we're not gonna now. Just why take the chance? We have three season tents and I don't wanna push their limits. It's a nice little pond here across the street for a tent angler. It's, uh, called the Crawford Pond. There's trout in here, rainbows and brookies. It's fly fishing only. But it's also like 24 degrees now. It's getting real cold and we don't have fishing gear. So we're heading out of here. We're going to grab a burger in, in Lincoln and chow down. All right. Um, thanks for coming along. Had a great hike. Good overnighter. Checked out some new gear and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Finally hit the snow. We're on Route 93 heading south and we're driving right into the storm. It's starting to accumulate a little bit on the road. It's just wet. It's real wet, sticky snow, but we'll see. All right. Really snowing now, folks. Gonna add up on the roads. People are driving cautiously, sometimes too cautiously. If that's possible. Like this guy. Oh look. <laughs> An accident. <laughs> the guy's facing the wrong oh, way. We're double up too. Wow. We we're just talking about that. Yeah, you don't want to go that way on a one way. Guy spun out of control. It's very slick. That's why we're keeping it about 75, 80. 40, say, yeah. 40. Seriously. We're going 45. 50. What are, you, what are we doing? 50. 50. Good drive safe, folks. Do you think I'm a puss wimp? <laughs> very nice. <laughs> oh, nice. All right. The journey continues.